All right. <clears throat> Good morning, evening, afternoon. This is Gamer Tia. We're back playing some Medieval Dynasty. It is winter of year two. Right, 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 right. A mysterious man came to your village. He claims he knows a lot about the wilderness and can teach you new skills for some gold coins. Uh, we don't have coins on us. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we only have 300 coins because we bought pigs yesterday. Thankfully, it shows coins from uh, the... What the heck is that called? Mm, resource storage. There we go. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and do number one since that's the only real option we have. F, and here we go. Horrendous, howdy. So, I guess you deleted a comment over on YouTube, and I couldn't make out what you said to make a video on, because it cut itself off. Or my, or my auto mod deleted the comment, because it doesn't take links. <laughs> one, of, one of the two options. Hi, Fluffy! Oh, well, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, we're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We like to play the Medieval Dynasties on Monday and Friday, and then Wednesdays is kind of always up in the air on what we're going to play. Especially now that we finished uh, Farm Manager 2021. Even the DLC for that, that's all done. Sorry, winter's like my favorite time to gather, uh, gather rocks. Picking up some rocks. Do we have three animals? I feel like we don't have three animals. I'm not sure how we have three animals that are hungry. Let's go look. Morning, L. Dragon. Do you need a sleeps? <laughs> is, it, is it nap time? Do we have a baby pig? We did. That's why there's three. Yay! Can you need a hug this morning? It's okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're we're fed and watered. This is spring. This is oh look, we're not cold. So the uh, we made some gloves, and we made some boots, and we made uh, a shoulder thing. You restarted and went to change your settings. Dun dun dun, and then. You didn't save your settings and you went? Fed and watered somebody get a clip, right? <laughs> All right, full health and water and food? Impossible. Impressure. Oh, Neo Seeker? Okay. Yeah, Dwarf kind of keeps me informed all the, about all those. She's, uh, they are, are very, uh, very smart. They know, they know things. Just got in the re game recently and following you videos and playing a long while. Nice. I'm I'm well. I'm really happy. We uh really really enjoy this game and like I I will be trying to make some smaller videos, but it takes time, which is weird that I have to say that because I mean obviously it takes time. Um, <laughs> and I'm not very good at it. Like that. I think that uh, the tips and tricks guide for the um for the one I made. <clears throat> How to day one? That one took me like two, three days. <laughs> it's not good. It's like energy and time. But I will be trying to make some more comprehensive guides and stuff because not everybody's played 600 plus hours in this. So, and then some of the stuff I know is no longer relevant because they have changed quite a bit of things just to like enhance the game and make it better. But, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'll be making some more, more stuff to cover because there's so much to cover in this game and it's better just to play it and, and learn yourself. But sometimes it's just nice to have somebody go, oh, that's a thing. So, yeah, I definitely get that. All right, let's, uh, let's go check our tools and make sure we're good on tools because we want our people to be productive today. Let's 
see here. Stone knives are good. Axes are not. Okay. No worries. Stones. And axes. Grind your axe. All right. Uh, sounds like I, I mean, dragon. I can hand you my axe to uh, to grind if you want. Yes, rot is no longer a thing in the game. Like as far as being able to turn it off, rot will always happen now. Which I don't mind it too bad. It means we don't have to just farm one year and then have food for the rest of our ten years we're playing. So it makes it a little bit more dynamic with having to, excuse me, have things come in. <clears throat> Alright, so she's out there. The pigs are fed, which means we should just have manure coming in. Management. Buildings. Farming. Husbandry. There we go. Uh, a baby pig. For free. They're making 40 manure a day. Not too shabby. Uh, so we're going to go get a shovel and we're going to make our s fields for springtime today. This is going to be a little bit of a... <clears throat> it's, I don't know a good word for it. It's going to be a little bit difficult. It'll be worth it though. We just got to get it done. Do, 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 do. Some monies. I kind of don't want to put the bronze axe in there because they'll use it for the thing. And it's for me, it's not for them. We need a shovel. That's what we're doing. I was like, Tia, what are you doing in here? Could you please remember what you're supposed to be doing? Right now, it's better to buy animal feed. I usually have a 16 by 16 half oats and half rye. But it turned out that it was better not to have that, and it was just easier to purchase it. <clears throat> Which was not what we initially wanted to do last playthrough, but it ended up being uh, the better solution. And it can be argued that buying fertilizer versus having pigs is also a better option, so you don't even have to mess with animal feed. But I'm not rich yet. I don't even have a, I don't even have a full flax field yet. As soon as we have a full flax field, I'll reconsider some things, but we're not there yet. Gotta get the... Alright, now if you remove the stumps, the trees do not grow back. I'll let that tree grow back, because it's right between the buildings. Hi, right, come on. There we go. And uprooting the stumps will give you one log. Yeah, roughly on vanilla settings, animals eat about 15 feed. Uh, they're they're not uh, they're not too greedy. It's like 15 feed per animal per year. What was the last calculation that we had? Do 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 do. Eh. And you do need a shovel to uproot stumps. Hi, Bay. Good to see ya. Hopefully you're doing well today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no puppies today, hopefully. Hopefully, this, I mean, we'll be lucky to stay away from the pigs today. But I need to expand our fields out. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get our flax up and running, we'll have enough money coming in between the clothing and the oh. seeds that we can easily buy f feed if we want to keep pigs or fertilizer if we don't. Yeah, 
You're like, too, that's a lot of space for fields. It's like, yes, yes it is, and we're not even quite done yet. Do, 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 do. Let's pick up uh pick up some stuff. inventory and gravity in this game works pretty decently so we're just gonna throw out the log and let it roll downhill bye log let's <laughs> just tell the log hey log go in the storage shed for me please just take yourself on in there it won't go that far, but still. Usually I, I use winter to collect up on rocks, but uh, I want, like I said, I really want to get the field ready for springtime because that's going to be a big thing for us. Something kind of important to have in situated. I'm at F5 because pigs are jerks. Can rolling home, right? <laughs> We're off to a productive morning already. Do, 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 do. All right, so what I'm trying to do here, because some of you guys are like, Tia, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to try to put our field as close to this uh, other village as we can. That way we have a lot of room for the other ones. If I remember correctly, these three have to be gone too. So we'll go ahead and just knock those guys out. Hi guys, never go. So third person for Christmas and windmills. Yeah, I saw the the new stuff. I'm really sorry about not getting the news out for the game because usually I, I keep up on the news for everybody. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, I've been playing a ridiculous amount of New World, and that's kind of taken like a lot of my time. I haven't really been recording it because I'm just kind of doing my own thing, but uh. I have really been enjoying it with my buddies. It was like my brother and I just hung out and fished yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll uh, hit up some more news stuff this month too. I, I haven't done my October video at all. Um, so yeah, I'm behind. I'm like, oh crap, Tia, it's October the 4th already. You guys know I don't know what day it is, much less what, what month it is. Alright. We have some nice acreage open now. So let me go ahead and toss some more logs out. Just so we have some movement. Alright. <clears throat> Q. Building. Farming. Field. Alright, it's not saying town now, it's just saying occupied. So we'll go right here. And then, oop, now it's green. God, I can barely see it. Do, 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 do. 14, 15, 16. 16, 16, 16, 16, boop. Field number one. That's as close to town as we can get it. And I remember the correct trees. That's actually pretty cool. Usually I uh, have a little bit of trouble. Alright, I, gu I guess we can go get the logs now. <laughs> Spent most of the weekend on ESO, Blackwood. 
since it was half off. Very nice. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is pretty fun. I played that for quite a bit. Yes, pig. Eh, so heavy. So yeah, I'm hitting W and up arrow. That way we can move a little faster while we're burdened. We'll see so we can get places and do things. Alright. Look over here. Stone tools. Ooh, easy there. So we need logs and stone. Alright. Logs. I'll even throw sticks in there. Do, do, do. Uh, if you put up a fence, will pigs stay in it? Yes, because guess what? Guess what? Um, do, do, do. Q, we now have gates. Beautiful, beautiful gates. You do have to give them a little bit of room in case you are away a little bit and uh, they render. Me too, pig. Me too, right? Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, we have gates now, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Probably more than I should be, but... Got some manure, finally. Now it takes two manure to make one fertilizer, so we will have to end up going and purchasing more stuff uh, in order to get the correct amount that we need. I'm going to go, let's look what we have first before I get kind of crazy. Uh, okay, nothing there. I'm looking to go ahead and plow that entire field up top, so... And we don't have any sticks right now. That's okay, though. One thing at a time, Tia. Mm-hmm, pig. All right, I guess we can use those instead. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Morning, Mike. If I didn't say that already. Sometimes I do and forget I did, and sometimes I don't think I did. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Alright, let's go get those and get those started. Might have to go hunting a little bit to get some hide. Because we need bags. There we go, number five. Don't cough, lady. Now, having this field here does cause us tax. I'm not too heartbroken about that, though, because uh, it is what it is. Uh, management fields. This will cost us 38 coins per season. <laughs> We're just going to use this and break all of them. I want to get the whole fi uh, field plowed for overlap. Hi, Pixie! <laughs> Live and not limited to just YouTube, right? <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you guys over here. Oh, this guy. Breathe, buddy, breathe. You got it. Just a little bit of field work. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I, I play over here Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you, guys. 
I appreciate you. Started a new game but forgot the g good king. Will it cause problems later? No, like I said, it will just uh, on the map. So you got your your tax stuff right here. Um, so this is how much taxes you pay. Uh, we have a 0% rating because we haven't done any herald quest at all. What the good or bad king will affect is this happiness over here. If you f complete a quest for a bad king, it will give you your tax deduction as you wanted, but it will also drop your people's mood by two uh, as a permanent indicator. So you'd have to do more quests for a good king than you did a bad king in order to bring their happiness back up. Oh, thank you. Got a stretch. Ah, good deal. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be doing some more videos and stuff for information on things you guys want and things that, you know, aren't in the normal videos. <laughs> Morning, Dan. Good to see ya. We're trying to get our spring fields ready. I know it's I know it's winter and we're supposed to be out collecting rocks like a crazy person, but I really, really need to uh get my flax fields situated so I have I have some stuff. Aw, oh, thank you, Pixie. How do you know if they're good or bad king? Um so like this guy the great. So whatever the the suffixes are. Suffixes are at the end, I guess. English is hard. Uh, whatever the suffix is has to be a decent one. So if it says the mad, the bloodthirsty, the uh, you know things that are a negative connotation, they're going to be a bad king. If it's the great, the kind, the generous, um, you found a list on the Steam forums. Nice. So there's a, a list of suffixes, I guess, for on the Steam forums. That's cool. Thank you, Pixie. But yeah, you just you just pay attention to that. Now, when the king dies, because he will, people will age in this game and die. Uh, when the king dies, you don't have a choice on who the next guy is, so just keep your fingers crossed. But the uh, the king's quest, the herald quests, give really good dynasty reps, so it's kind of hard to pass him over. Technically, the title suffix is the end of a word. Okay, see, I told you I was bad at the bad at the words. It was like pre is before and suff is the end. <laughs> That's all I remember from third grade English. <laughs> Hi, Celtic. I oh, know the w internet's out for the weekend. You tell it it's no time for a vacation. <laughs> you need things. But yeah, it's a uh, it'll drop your taxes no matter who you're working for, but it will uh, raise or lower your people's mood permanently by whoever you're, if they're a good or a bad king. Okay, cool. Ah, <sighs> now I told you guys that I tried some of the new settings for the 1.0 launch, and I'm so crazy about them. The crafting, the instant crafting. So instead of having 42 cycles when you're crafting 42 pottages. You can craft 42 pottages in one cycle. And it is so beautiful. It brings tears to my eyes. But it does absolutely change the feel of the gameplay. Because you're not sitting there having to craft all the time. Um, so it's both like negative and positive. So it still doesn't have the slower f feel to it. But it is really nice because you get stuff done. I felt like I was more productive. And then... They even added in some XP tweaks as well. So for those of you that feel like you're crafters or you level up way too slow, you can adjust that. Or if you feel like you level up too fast, then you can slow that down. So it's it's pretty cool. I like the fact that they always do that. That's really cool of them. I haven't found any benefit unique for the bad kings. Higher rewards. Uh, from what I've seen, Dan, the, the rewards were the same. I did... Uh, I did test that out a little bit 
because I was thinking the same thing. Maybe like having a bad king means you get more gold or more something. And it didn't. Yeah, Pixie, I don't allow uh, uh, links in because badness sometimes. Yeah, you got to give Race Samira an inhaler. I sometimes feel like that. And the hilarious part is I'm, I'm pretty sure I have uh, skills... Uh, uh, survival. Yeah, I have Athlete 3. And he just has trouble breathing. But I know that that's not what it would do. It would be farming. And then... I have one of one on, on Farming Master. So he's still sucking wind pretty good. Even with stamina consumption being 10% less. So I don't know. We're working on it. Oh, no, no. Pixie, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Dragon, it's safer for everybody. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dan's like, please, please water your person. I was like, he could probably, he could probably finish the field. <laughs> All right, character, because Dan asked, you get a drink in just a minute. Let's finish that one. Okay. We'll go walk over here and get a drink. You know I would have let you suffer another 30 minutes before I let you have a drink. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to think what we need to do for fertilizer because we might have to go ahead and craft some stone knives and some stuff in order to have enough fertilizer to finish this field. But it's going to be as much flax as I can get on there and then probably a few rows. Actually, no. We're not going to do cabbage in springtime. We're just going to do flax. And then in summertime, we'll plant some cabbage. So I think we'll be good enough then. Hi, Jester. Take water from upstream. Don't want any street gravy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Alright, did we go through four of them already? We sure did. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was watching... <laughs> I think it was disenchanted or something. I, uh, street gravy is just, mm, it, it's, uh, it's not a good thing. Crossroads Inn. I believe I did. I don't remember what I thought about it, though. Like, it's already out of my head. Yes, yes. We already made 12 of them with our first harvest and sold them off already and bought two pigs with it. And the pigs had a baby. Alright, let's kick that out. Yeah, a baby pig. Where, where, he's, he's right there. Teeny tiny little bacon bit right there. Hi, pig! New DLC with the Moonshiners in Crossroads Inns. Nice. T, if you built fields in winter, don't you get taxed in... Yes, yes. You absolutely do. But that's okay, because that's better than me struggling to try to get the... Uh, to try to get... Oh gosh, I'm too overburdened. Hold on a second. I gotta scooch a little closer. Yeah. And pivot. And we're gonna make five of these. There's a little bit more durability using the stone ones than the wood one. A piglet oh. Yeah, well I'm more of a tigger person. <laughs> it, or I guess characteristically, I'm actually more of an Eeyore. Well I guess that's okay. <laughs> But Tigger was always my favorite.
All right, let's uh, let's get these equipped. Oh, it's already equipped. Good job. And winter's great because it's so bright, even at nighttime, that you can easily do work. So nice. Uh, they did brighten up the night a little bit because when they put 1.0 out, they made the nights even darker, which I'm sure many of you noticed. Uh, the patch last week did boost the nighttime light, so it's not quite as horrible as it was. Although I think winter time would be a really good time to hunt bandits just because you could see them for far, from further away because the foliage is dropped. Like the trees don't have as thick green leaves where you can't see through them. Dum, do, dum, do, dum, dum. Yeah, we'll be making little hoodies, coifs. It's one linen uh, fabric and one linen thread, which is why we're so in, uh, insistent on getting the flax filled up. It's super important to us. All right, it's completely plowed now. Do, 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 do. We'll go ahead and pit stop for some food. You can hit R to sheathe whatever weapon or tool you have, and then hit R again, and it'll come back out. R for Romeo. Let's see here. Yeah, see, we have carrots, we have... All kinds of stuff. I wanted to boost our seed production. We have ungons. Roasted meat. A little bit of rot. So yeah, besides buckets of water, you can put water skins in here. So the water for the village doesn't register unless you put it in the food storage. So make sure you have uh, have your stuff in the food storage. I'll be eating a couple pottage real quick. Definitely not eight, but... There we go. That works. Uh, your herbs don't rot, but I am keeping them in here for right now, just because I can. Yeah, I uh, I was trying to figure it out because I had some really nifty buckets that I picked up. And I'm like, yay, buckets. And then I put it in the regular storage and it didn't register. And then I put it in the uh, in this. And I was like, oh, yay. Also, buckets no longer cost linen thread, which is amazing. Uh, but you do have to make some planks to make the buckets, which is not bad. Where's a bucket? So it's two planks to make a bucket now instead of four planks, an ingot, and a freaking linen thread. So buckets are much easier to have now. One log equals a bucket, basically. Uh, <laughs> Pixie, there's a wash tub you can absolutely use. And... Um, a lot of people do. I just use the creek. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using the the bathtub, though. It's just a personal preference. H for HUD. And you can take your t uh, train shots that you want. Yeah, creek works just fine. I like it. Do 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 do. Also, I've lost track of what we're supposed to be doing. I think fields. Yes, Tia, fields. Focus. All right, we need the bags. All right, we have two hundred and sixty-four flax seeds. Management fields.
Flax. Accept. Alright, there's a reason I did that. Ha, sneaky! 12 months in a row! Holy smokes! Yeah, 15 of September was our first day streaming. It's really just crazy. The Ides of September. <laughs> farming knowledge. Alright, we got two more. So let's go ahead and do some more Farming Master because it's such a crybaby. Uh, uh, we'll do s Careful Farmer too because I need these bags to last. Do, 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 do. Two six two fifty six for a field. Yes, that's what we we're. Tr I was trying to figure that out for sure. Field two hundred fifty six, two hundred sixty four. So we have enough flax feed, flax seeds. <laughs> Sorry, my words are all jumbled. We have enough flax seeds to do an, an entire field, and I'm really excited about that. That's like that's awesome sauce right there. And cabbage. I think we're going to just do a 5x5 five five, like you guys have been saying. <laughs> hey, that's okay, Dwarf. And good morning. Here's our resident expert over here for all things. <laughs> Master, spreadsheet, Master Spreadsheets. Please welcome Is a Dwarf. Is a Dwarf. See, damn it. Or, oh, sorry. Bad word, guys. I'm sorry. Strike that from the record, please. <laughs> is a dwarf. See? I think I have it right, and then I I contradict myself. Like, no, you're wrong, Tia. You're wrong. Sorry for the harsh language this morning, guys. Listen. A slip. It happens. Let's see here. Uh, we're looking for fertilizer, so apparently I didn't have any extra, which I thought we had a little extra. I thought we bought some. Should have left it as I'm a dwarf. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I know who you is, just because I can't say it. Alright, so we got the bags. Stone knives, axes, picks. Let's look through here. Now some more leather. We'll go ahead and pick that up and we'll make bags out of that. We'll grab the manure. Alright, so we're working off the situation that we have none. We have no fertilizer extra anywhere. Dun, dun, dun. Vale for over on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. I think it's weird. It's like sometimes uh, stream elements works really good, and I can see people subscribing from over on YouTube, even if I'm on Twitch. And then sometimes it doesn't do anything, and I never see anybody. But oh yeah, think uh, sneaky. Thank you so much for the sub. I very very much appreciate it, especially the fact that you've been here for 12 months. Moving dwarf. I appreciate it. Now we have cherry seed seedlings, but I didn't know when and where were we going to plant stuff, so I didn't put them down yet. I guess we can fix that. We'll do the cherry, cherry trees by the lake, I think. By the stream. Did we already craft the manure? Tia, you were here the entire time. What did you do? Yeah, 20 fertilizer right there. I was here before him. <laughs> and I made him fall. <laughs> uh. do, do, do. Our numbers are wrong. I, I need to fix them again. I think we're like uh, two away from 400 over on on YouTube, which just kind of blows my mind a little bit. But it is really cool. I'm I'm very appreciative. We we'll get 20 down, and then we'll go buy more, because we we'll need a lot of fertilizer. 
lots of fertilizer. So two pigs starting off with a person that's not very skilled in farming is going to net about 20 fertilizer a day. And we need 256 of it in order to have the spring field ready. Which means we're going to have to buy some. I planted carrots and then assigned a different crop thinking the farmer would plant it next. She dug up all the carrots. Yes, yes, that's one of the things they, quotation marks around that, fixed was that the the field workers are a lot more responsive. Um, unfortunately, that also meant that we lost crops as well. Just hadn't tested it yet. It was supposed to have been fixed with the full release. You hadn't texted it yet. Oh man. Yeah, I didn't even know they were fixing it. I thought it was as it is. So this is all fertilized. Do Yes, we usually wait until after 6 p.m. The night, the last night of the season. And then you do your changes then. If you're planting multiple crops on the field. Like right now we have flax as being planted on here, even though we don't have any workers. And then next season we'll have uh, cabbage on it. But it'll be done the night before. Alright, well the, these guys are sleeping so I'm not sure what we need to do. I guess we can pick up rocks because we still need to make some more, uh, some more buildings. I stuck her in the barn making fertilizer as punishment. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's like, I was just trying to help. You said you wanted something else out there, so I just did it. I was just following instructions. No, I, I've been there. I've definitely been there. I've been the kind that's standing in the field watching everybody work. And I'm like, I feel like you're not moving fast enough. But yeah, keep in mind, anything closest to the barn will be taken care of first. Even if they're refertilizing for a crop that won't happen for three more seasons. Instead of harvesting the one that needs harvested this season or else you don't get your yield. Because there's no overlap. You don't get... If it's due and ready this season, it won't be there next season. Uh, sure. Go ahead. I like the fact that now if you need something specific, like you can just ask an NPC and they will kind of point you out to where it needs to go. Which is pretty cool. Nice. So Relencia has Irma, the pig breeder. Tamira, the herbalist. Nadar, the farmer. Tuki has Amanda, the, the donkey breeder. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. And Raymond, the hunter. Berenica has Bogdan, the woodcutter. Lamboria, the seamstress. Borowo has Inga, who's the awesomest lady ever to be created in the entire history of medieval dynasty. Sorry. She's my first wife. Like, seven times. Anyway, she has Inga, the chicken breeder, and Falbor, the craftsman, who's also Inga's father. Uh, Gustovia has... We're just going to call him Dagbert, who works in the tavern, and Adelina, the cook, Somber, the cow breeder, and Edwin, the farmer. Dinica has Melinda, the seamstress, Kinga, the cook, and Dagobert, the farmer. Lenencia has uh we'll just call him Dobby. Dobby the woodcutter and Gazelda the hunter and Mildroja the miner. Oh my god, there's more. Theobald the blacksmith. Uh Jerzica has Batimura the fisherman. Nebula the taverner person. Hornica has Bolomir the miner. Nabor the cook, and Helga the tavern, uh, Leonard the horse breeder, 
Carolina the seamstress, and Jan the blacksmith. And then they all of them have places that uh, have gifts. The the gift person rotates towns. Oh, that's a lot of reading. That's a lot of bad reading. <laughs> Posture check. Thank you, sir. Mm. We're picking up rocks. I was like, what are you doing, Tia? Uh, I've only noticed in Gustovia, because I live right here. I'm sure that is in other places. I just need to pick up some rocks, because we need 66 so I can build another house, because I want to grab another person. Give them employment in our home. back. When do you limestone your houses? Horrendous. Uh, I usually limestone my houses when we get an excavation shed up and I have a bazillion and a half tools. I usually put limestone gathering on about 20%. And then, uh, then the rest of it on stones for them to pick up, pick up rocks. Let's put our money back. I don't know why we have our money. Oh, we're going to buy fertilizer tomorrow. Doom, doom, doom. Line, thank you. Welcome to our humble abode. So go ahead and drop that back in. We'll go ahead and make some more bags. Ah, delicious coffee. Delicious coffee. <laughs> Alright, I feel like we have enough to build another house. Yeah, we're just going to work through the night. <laughs> because we can. I'll put these sticks back. Dropping these off for now because we need weight. Okay. All right, there we go. Just gotta gotta pick up some logs, yeah. Do 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 do. What real raggy? We're gonna have a little bit of a conundrum because we need some more sticks to make thing. There we go. And we need four more sticks to make another hammer. <laughs> said we play this, like said, Monday and Friday at 9.30 Central Standard Time. And then Wednesdays is, like said, up in the air. Usually on what we're playing on Wednesdays. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Patron's been making some advances. Um... Going Medieval has been having Monday talks, which is really cool, kind of keeping people informed on what's going on with their game. Uh, there's been quite a bit of stuff going on that I have not been covering, that I meant to be covering. <laughs> Alright, Q. Building. Houses. Level 1. Line it up. 
Eh. Close as I can get. Boop. All right, switch this to planks, planks, stone, planks, 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 stone, planks, planks, planks. <laughs> uh, it's fine, guys. I amuse myself. We're just taking the window out of that because uh, it's just going to be next to a thing, so there's no sense in... Uh, Giving them a view they can't use, right? Okay. Broken hammer. That's why we made the f next one. Alright, I think that is it. So we'll need stones and planks to finish this out. Why so close? <laughs> Uh, you can actually give them plenty of space apart and make lavish yards and stuff. They even did a decorator ability this last patch. Um, but it doesn't affect happiness at all if you have them smushed in large sardines. But yeah, I could like give them nice lavish yards and stuff like that. I just, I'm not really much of a decorator. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that because there's plenty of stuff to do. And it is cool that people, people that are able to do that. I'm, I'm more than glad to see that. Like Nikki B is one of the people that makes really cool places. She threw like a thousand grains of uh, wheat into a little thing that she created to make a sandbox. So, <laughs> as one at a time, by the way. <laughs> Um, so some people do a lot of decorating in this game, and it is really cool what they can do. Like, I've seen some screenshots of some, like, really beautiful villages. I don't really go for beauty. I, I'm more of a functional person. So the smaller area I can get to get everybody in without any glitches, the usually happier I am. Because if they're close, they're really close to work, and they can just get their stuff done. It doesn't actually affect production, by the way. So don't freak out if your people, your houses are way away from your production buildings. It doesn't affect production at all. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yes, please ask. Ask away. Green dial. Uh, which location? Oh, the green dial when I'm hammering. Uh, so I have, uh, one of my skills is supposed to speed up that green dial right there that just popped up. Um, that is a speed boost to construction. So notice I'm hammering just a little bit faster. I'll show you that skill after we get done getting these walls in. Yeah, you can also have one of those speed boosts for uh, for farming as well. It's a mod, <laughs> right? I wish. Do do do. There we go, we got a house. And we have 15 buildings, so it gave us a nice dynasty rep. And now we have to hunt a bear, a wisen, a moose, and have a bow. None of the things that I want to do, but that's okay. It's part of the chapter quest, and like I said, stay on top of the chapter quest if you want your village to be able to expand. Because max development stage, after we finish the bow, moose, wisen, and bear, gives us 45 buildings to work with, which is very nice. Talk to Samber for two quests and talk to Alwyn. Okay, so we got a couple things we need to do. Oh, I was going to show you the skill. Skill. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think it's crafting. 
builder. Builder chance. Ah, so it's crafting and it's builder trance. 10% faster building stacks up to 1. On the next one we'll do another 10% and it stacks up to 2. And then another one stacks up to 3. What time is it? It is 4 in the morning. 5 in the morning. Okay. I'm pretty excited. Look at that. We got two of the nicer houses up. Uh, I think I'll go ahead. Nope. No, Tia. Don't do it. Sorry. You guys are like, Tia, what were you going to do? I was going to tear down one of those houses and move them over here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to just keep building houses. I do need to switch out the roofs, but they're going to be mad at me for a minute when I do that. I think we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Because they're going to be angry and homeless for just a second. Because you're being all nice and you're moving. Uh... Alright, and inventory. You're getting them the the roof, roof that they need, but they're going to be angry at you. 25, 24, accept. 24, accept. 24, accept. Oh, that's 25. My bad. X, 24. X24. X24. This is not good. This is definitely not best practices to just throw these logs out here. But uh it does save you room in your uh warehouse when you only have one. All right, let's go make some. Uh, the I think the third playthrough, I built some outposts. Uh, one specifically up by the mine. Um, that had a house, a food, st extra food storage, and extra resource storage because I thought that's what it needed to be able to function out there. Uh, that's not the case. You don't need that. Um, you can have your miners in your own village. And they'll go out to mine. Uh, once you have a mine, mine actually built. But uh, I do kind of recommend adding warehouses close to those, just so you can throw all the stuff in there and not have to try to carry it back. So it's kind of suggested that way. Oh, I gotta step away for just a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I was like, kids, aren't you supposed to be in school right now? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, exactly, L. Plenty of time to go use a restroom, get more coffee, stuff like that. 
Alright, yeah, these guys are going to be angry when we do this, but it's kind of necessary, so... Uh, the only thing I would recommend right now is to make sure that you have enough crafting tools, because we're only on a quarter of this one, so I probably need to grab enough to build another thing real quick. <laughs> yeah, um, the last few playthroughs we haven't made it to mine at all. That's kind of like I'm, I'm really happy about them scaling on the beginning of the thing. I was like, we're playing vanilla, so we can't do it, but other people can. And hey, they changed it, or did they? It's only five thousand. I thought it was ten thousand last time. Either way, we will be trying to get there. Get off my lawn. <laughs> oh man. That was that was last weekend when I told them to get off my lawn. Mostly because they were at my window, literally screaming inside my window, and I almost lost my almost lost my cool. I just knocked on the window and they ran away. My neighbor kids are just a little bit rowdy. Slash, at the point where I haven't murdered them, but I've contemplated how much, how much it would be nice to do that. <laughs> That's fine, though. That's fine. Perfectly reasonable. All right, he's got some water. We'll keep the things. All right, eh, eh. I know I can't wait till they have the invisible electric fences or the current runs, runs between posts and then just slightly underground. So if you step over it, you get zapped. So excited about this. <laughs> I don't know if they're legal in the town, but I might try them anyway. Like, look, I don't know what you're saying. There's obviously nothing there. Alright, alright. We got we got plenty of hammers now. <laughs> oh no, Mike. <laughs> uh, Halloween is coming up, but uh, I don't think I could do that. I'd feel bad. At least for a little while. Alright, destroy, 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 destroy. Right click. Oh, we forgot something, guys. You know what we forgot? We forgot actual uh, lumber. We only have one log. So we'll have to run all the way across. She's going to be angry. Please build faster. She's currently homeless and angry at us. I'm sorry, lady. Doom boom doo doom doo doom doo doom doom doo 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 doom doo doom doo doom doo doom See that's why we bought another hammer, because we expected this. Doo doom doo doom doo doom Actually uh skills No management person who's homeless assign this house it's already built there you go we already had a house pre-built so she won't be angry at us because they lose um they lose happiness so fast when you do that it's a ridiculous see that's her right there she lost happiness while she was waiting on a house hi leo so next time we'll plan this just a little bit better and bring some extra logs over. Five, six, seven. Seven logs, I think. Pretty good. The weekend went by really fast. At least I think the weekend, because it's Monday today. Like, I'm 30% sure. 
Do 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 do. What's a weekend? I think it's the thing between Monday and Sunday. A dark so day or a day so dark. All right, inventory. <laughs> Four logs, perfect. There we go. Sit, stay. No, not not the river. No, 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 no. All right, stay. Stay. I like how it just moves us. All right, finally, just put you behind here. If it goes so far down, it's harder to pick up in the river. You can still do it, but it's a little, little more tedious. Thank you, Sunday, over on YouTube. I appreciate it. All right, uh, another 24 logs. Let's go make some uh, more planks for the second one. So the reason you want stone and planks, like the max tier for even your small houses, is because it makes your people happier. Pardon me, lady. Free up the workstation. Thank you so much. Uh, it makes them happier and it reduces uh, fuel consumption. So the wood they consume, the firewood and stuff like that, um, is less when they have the higher tier houses or the better built houses. There's a noise that only younger people can hear. The mosquito. You can play it on speaker, but you won't hear it. <laughs> Dog whistle the neighbor kids. Uh, it's okay. I don't... I only have control over myself. So I'll just... Nice deep breaths and it's all fine. Nice calming sound of shaving wood here. It's totally fine. Hi, bad. Have you found a way to take out animal feed from buildings before demoing the buildings? Uh, the only thing I've seen is being able to get in, um, in the sacks, but I haven't, I haven't tried to take anything out of the feed trough yet. Let me go, let me go check. Because the pig should have a bag and, uh, something else in there. A bag and a feed trough. We'll just double check. Here's a feed trough. We can hold, hold E to put feed in, but we can't take any out, I don't think. That's a good point. Maybe you maybe you should drop that on the forums to let them know we can't get it out of there. Somebody said that you get food if you demo a building out of it. What was it? Hold on. I was look I was oh I gotta close that. Uh dun 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 dun, dun. steam medieval dynasty do 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 Oh there's quite a few more Well, there's quite a few things fixed in 1.0, or the 6 version. My bad. Close, close, close. There we go. I just cried a little when you chose not to use quick crafting. I was watching YouTube screaming at the monitor. Tia, take it! I know, <laughs> trust me. Trust me, it was, I was heartbroken too, but they said that I would have to move if I, if I took it, and I can't. I mean, I'd rather suffer the, the long crafting than, uh, didn't have to move my house because I'd be uncomfortable the entire playthrough. 
this is like it's a little bit of suffering and <laughs> it's fine but yeah I really wanted to but we we've played vanilla for over a year now and uh, I'll just sit here and cry my salty tears Doom, 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 doom. Hi, Zon. Good to see you guys today. All right, let's get this roof fixed up, and then uh, we should. Oh, my roof's not even done. Tia, you're a slacker. I'm supposed to be doing stuff, and I'm not, cause I'm a slacker, apparently. Uh, building this one. Oh, easy, easy there. E. There we go. Uh, I am right here as always. I always build my house right here. So here's Gustovia. My house. Most of the time I put my villagers over here. And some of my workshops here. And then my farms right here. Which is a really great spot for farming by the way. And put a barn right there and a pigsty there and then fields up here uh, but you can actually have the largest houses here and just put your population right along here it's actually really nice because it's flat and it's right by the river oh crap uh, management there you go lady sorry I wasn't paying attention uh, allow there we go Sorry, uh, uh, Quimby's not here to watch moderation stuff, so things are questionable. Um, what crafting do you recommend to be done to unlock pies and tarts? It seems like there are certain tech, and I'm not sure how what to work on. Uh, they are a crafting tech, so you could do anything from sewing to, uh, cooking meat to building tools. Because they are locked in technology, crafting. So develop this technology by crafting items and cooking. So it's just basically us knocking out crafting. Because tarts and stuff are like tavern. Yeah, all the way, all the way down here. So it's basically just crafting everything you can get your hands on. Uh, meat with gravy is a decent craft. But others would argue. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Pottage f uh, feels like it takes too long. But having people work on crafting, like your NPCs work on crafting, will also unlock it faster. Oh, Tia, stay focused. She's like, squirrel, and then runs off. Yeah, making planks and firewood are excavation. Oh, good to know. I knew firewood was, but I didn't know planks were. I mean, that would make sense, right? I have to kill a wison and a bear now? Me too! Me too! Alright, there we go. House is done. The other day I spent five hours clearing out trees and made eight farms that are 16 by 16. It's nice. Beautiful. We are on our, our almost rolling into year three and we're so be far behind for our normal crops. Alright, so here's what we're doing right now. We are going to go in here and talk to Alwyn real quick. We still need to talk to Samber because I've been slacking. Yeah, the knives is a really good idea, so you get some monies. I just, I don't know. This playthrough has felt like I've missed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Alright, J, F, F, Oh, Alan's out here. So you going to play target practice with me again? I don't have monies. Alan, I don't have time for your crazy. Alright, um, T, 
two threes, so hard pass. Let's go ahead and uh, go up here and talk to Samber. It's kind of like two quests to get out of the way. Uh, they respawn and appear in different places. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, aren't you guys glad we, we made all that clothing for ourselves now that we don't have to be freezing to death? It was worth the money. It did cost us about 1,500 monies to buy all the things we needed to get to uh, unlock the schematics for crafting. But at least we don't have to hold the torch and freeze to death every five seconds. Yeah, once you get iron mines unlocked, it's really, really nice. Like, it's one of my favorites. I think our worker, we're going to put her in the excavation shed. Because I need more rocks for tools. I need stuff and things. So we're looking for a digger. Trash, 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 trash. I know level one survival. Let's see here. I'll grab a couple more in insensitive. Check the cool. Oh yeah, because it's still broken, isn't it? Because there's one durability for a rock. If you turn off bandits, do the abandoned camps still spawn? Yes. I think those are usually static and off and on. So you still have camps to go loot, but no bandits, I don't think. That's best guess estimation. That is not a fact, because I have not tested that. Do you figure out how often you have to... Uh, you really don't have to do it. If you don't do the those, you can do about 6 to 10 regular quests and get the, about the same dynasty rep. So your your stuff doesn't really take a hit, but after you get your max people, like quote unquote max people, um, it does kind of suck a little bit just because you have... Uh, Sorry guys, I need st I need stuff. Um, nope, conversation's gone because I got distracted by rocks. It's gone. I mean, how many stone do you get per? thing is it a stone that you mine or is it like several oh yes thank you uh so max pop is not based on kids anymore thank god but your dynasty how much dynasty you actually have dynasty rep where'd you go till it fluctuates on how many people you can have so after you finish stuff and you get like most of your houses built and you have people in them uh, you kind of max out how many people. I think I like, I can't tell because I know I had children too. But I had like 50 something people. And I had to gain an extra thousand rep for every single person. In order to have them come to the village. So it was getting really tight. Yes, dynasty rep restricts your adult residence. How many you can have, yes. That's why doing quests and stuff is kind of important. And the Herald's Quest too because it's like half it's a quarter of a person for a uh, for a uh, herald quest yep so you want your dynasty rep boost as much as you can so you can have more people you can have all the buildings in the world but unless you got people to run them it gets a little tedious do 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 yeah ah all right that's why there's a saying called ah that's why never trying to chase two rabbits always focus on one otherwise you'll lose them both <laughs> 
bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, I think is the saying. Alright, there's the Wysent. How much arrows does we have? Alright, we have 20. We're, we should be good. Should be. Oh my god, we're gonna get murdered. Alright, I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit. Look for stupid pigs. Alright, there's one back there so we can back up this way. Uh, Tia did not F5. Alright, how about we F5, dork, before you start to get in another fight? Jeez. I'll stay back here a little bit. The arrows should be causing him to bleed. If you have tracking or hunting sense, you can see the blood splatters as we're walking. But, uh, we can't right now. Because we're not that cool. There he goes. Oh yeah, and yeah, we found a treasure. Dun 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 dun. Yes, that has happened many times before. No blood splatters don't really help you track them, right? Well, I never get survival sense, even though it is a nifty thing to have. A lot of people are really happy with it. I uh, don't ever use it though. Alright, so that's one. Oh, we're overburdened now. Okay, no problem. We can fix this. And stone knives. Hi, dear. I usually don't hunt bucks, because you can see the buck running off up top. I usually don't I hunt them because the antlers kind of protect their head. So when you try to do headshots and drop them with one shot, uh, you usually have to hit them in the neck instead of the head. Otherwise, it's blo blocked by the antlers. Yeah, exactly. Neck shots. Right about there. Sorry. Sorry, Doe. I'll just make an example of now you're dead. I'm sorry. So you don't have to headshot him every time. And Bucks do have a tiny bit more HP than the other guy. Right, left alt. Or control. There we go. So we're crouched down. Ugh. <laughs> There's another Wysent. We're not going to mess with that guy. We're going to let the buck run around crazy for just a second. We don't actually need to do this because we're not hunting them. Oh, God, there's another one. Sorry, they're really touchy about their territory. Alright, I'm gonna let that buck go. We have other things to do today. Other things to do today. Uh, this place? We're supposed to be getting fertilizer for our field, and obviously we have not been focusing on that at all. Tia, can you please focus?
Do 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 do. All right, what do we have extra of right now? We have extra. Just trying to get rid of all this weight. Do you want to build a snowman? Nope, no snowman today. We got stuff to do. All right, there we go. Ah, making a stone axe doesn't lower your weight. Good to know. Good to know. It's only the stone knives, right? It weighs the same as the materials built. Sad panda. You know I'd build. I would. I would absolutely. All right, stamina level's too low. All right, remember we're doing three threes challenge this time around. Oh, look at this one. Hi. Hello there. Would you like to marry me since you have like five threes? Um, just joking. Go to the village. Thank you. Person. Do do do. Perfect. I don't have a job for her yet. Wait, which, yeah, she also had that. Uh, sewing hut. I'm gonna put you in there for just right now, so you'll be happies. We'll switch you out in a little while, maybe. <sighs> okay. We're selling something, that's right. I was like, Tia, what you doing? Herbalist. Norbert, would you like to buy some antique knives? Well, thank you. High quality. Greeting you. See you soon. <laughs> right? Uh, do you guys remember how crazy irate I was when I went and I saw twos and threes and ones in a village instead of sixes when they fixed that? Because it used to be sixes, guys. Back in my day, people around the campfire used to be sixes. I've never had four threes. <laughs> I'm just saying, lucky. Super lucky, and I'll take it. I don't need skill when I got this much luck. <laughs> Not for Cranky. Sat satisfactory gave us a buildable snowman, then ripped them away. <laughs> no! That's so mean. The knives only cost the weight of the stick, so you lose the weight of the rocks. Ah, dwarf, thank you. And we're also. Un we're able to marry the townsfolk and get some tins. Yep, because Inga was a ten. Burst in my heart. Have a good night, dragon. Sleep well. <laughs> dragon, that's a full-time job for an entire squad. I used to steal the woodcutter from Gustovia. She was a tin in excavation and crafting. I know, it's so sad. I didn't know that though, actually. Yeah, one of the craziest things before Patch was um, I married Inga 
And her mom and dad and sister lived in the same house as us, even though there were two beds. Uh, so I had two merchants in my village every morning. And I would sell all my stuff in the morning. It was super convenient. Oh, yeah, we're talking to Samba, aren't we? Alright, another F5, because we need to. We also need a deer, uh, a moose, and a bear, which I hope we don't run into because I don't need either one of those guys right now. Moosh. Uh, horrendous, there's no perks on any of those. It's just like the dialogue that you enjoy or like. The personality is not the perk, it's what their skill sets are. So just uh, pick somebody that's really skilled. That way you and her kid can, your offspring won't be all number one window lickers. I don't know if we're a lot, ah, uh, sorry. It happens though. It happens a lot in this game. I know, I shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry. I feel bad now. But you guys know what I mean. <laughs> uh. These snozzberries taste like snozzberries. Oh, yay, yeah, cart. What you got for me, cart? Some fur. There's anything else in there? We'll take it. Do 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 do. I love the fact that we can now wake people up if we got a quest for them. Samber, I have like six quests for you. We're just gonna blow through this because, quite frankly. I'm probably going to li listen to Deuce's story time when we talk about this. Uh, Unigos? 20 beetroots, 20 onions, 20 cabbages, 20 carrots? Oh my goodness. We're about to have a fight, mister. I did not see that coming. Yeah, they, they changed some of the beginner quests, which is good because there's like an amazing storyline now, by the way. So how I just blew through the storyline, I don't recommend for you guys, especially like uh, now, even if you played before, because the, uh, the storyline is actually really good now. Like there's, I mean, it was decent before, but it's really good now. But I watched Deuce MS over on YouTube, and he does like a story time for this uh, this playthrough. Totally different story. Oh, eat. <laughs> eh, I got another twenty minutes until I'll starve to death. It's totally fine. Oh, bandits! Bandits! Uh, F5. Tia's already missing some health. <laughs> Lovely headshot. He didn't look like he wanted to come talk to me. He looked like he wanted to come murder me. Also, for those of you curious, you can't harvest them for meat either. Uh. Good old physics. Yay, cheese! I don't know why I'm so excited about the cheese. It's my favorite thing that they dropped so far. Copper arrows.
wine skin, water skins, firewood. Okay. That's pretty close to my village. Dwarf, I did see it. I was laughing a little bit. <laughs> Tia doesn't eat normally, but his bump candle was not in the game. I'm just saying, we did try it earlier. That's for resolving conflict without killing the cow? Was it? Well, it's because I blasted through the uh, the dialogue so fast. And because I did, I missed an option. Because I, I really did just smash the spacebar with the skippity skip skip. So that was 100% on me for that. Uh, if you want to join the content community and like to support the channel, please consider following, subscribing, thumbs up, high five, low five, all the stuff and things here on Twitch, over on YouTube, and on Twitter. Your support is much appreciated. Do, 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 do. See, I have that on my Steam element, so it's, yeah, stream element, so I remember to do that. Otherwise, I'd never do it. Cheese, meat, ongons, wine, full water skin, bottles. Okay, let's go put the rest of this up. Wait, we're gonna eat, weren't we? Eh. We're not gonna eat nightshade. Grab some pottage real quick. Food, food, do 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 do. There we go. Three pottages, deliciousness. All right, so pottages is what we actually cook for food for these guys. Um, Thirty food, ten water. Management. We need one hundred and twenty food a day. Divided by thirty is a number that I don't know, but that's how many pottages we need a day for these guys. Because now we have four workers, which is our max right now. Uh, let me see. Let me, let me max it. 120 divided by 30 equals, we need four pottages a day for these people. So basically the same amount of pottages we need for ourselves. Thank you. But yeah, that's how that's how you tell. You go to management and see food per day. They need 120 water per day as well, which isn't too bad. That's only like fill up a couple buckets and they're good for a couple months. Uh, and then wood is 120, which you just watch your firewood on that. Because uh, each firewood is worth five wood. Wait, I'm in the credits of this game? <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I mean, I helped stream a little bit, and I've been playing with it, but I didn't realize I was in the credits. No, I didn't. That's actually a real surprise. I'm, like, a little stunned. I'm a little happy. Uh <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thank you for the posture check content creator section nice is uh nice I'll have to look in I'll have to look and see if Deuce and uh, Bone and them and Gargoyle are in there you and I are both in the credits oh awesome awesome no I never checked the credits that's really cool I didn't expect anything like that. There we 
Hilfer, firewood. Oh, we're full. That's why we can't fit any more in here. I'm like, Tia, please put it in there. Yeah, I, uh, I, I really didn't expect that. That's that is very very cool though. Lead squirrel, <laughs> lead squirrel, right? Ooh, shiny. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be wrong. They would not be wrong on that. Yeah, Mike did, um, Mike did quite a few things for him, but the, uh, he was doing the, the forum moderator stuff too. <laughs> You're in special thanks, aw. Well, that's really cool. I, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, Beard, I didn't even, I didn't even know that. I think it, I think it's really cool that they did that. That's really. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> I guess thank you is a good sp uh, place to start. Yeah, I mean, I, we've been playing this since last September when it first came out in early access, and we were playing it uh, three or four days a week when I was kind of over streaming because I was doing a little bit too much and then uh, then I had to slow down a little bit and we made it Monday and Friday and then during like I think this uh, steam summer sale I streamed over there on their channel for about a month so yeah it's good stuff a little too much <laughs> maybe Yeah, I'm, I'm excited they have a roadmap all, all the way out to 2023, I think is when the roadmap ends for them, for this game. I figured all, that all the gathering would be in the hut. Uh, isn't it? All except the, the six? Because it's no longer in the hunter place. That's another thing. We should probably focus a little bit more on herbalism because I think we could probably make some money doing that. Tia, you made a mess. Now it's everywhere. It's fine. All right, so we have s stone knives for hunting. We have stone axe for chopping wood. Mm. Put some more over there. Uh... We have tons of firewood. It should take the how much firewood we need and divide it by five to see how much firewood we need a day a day. But I haven't. Level three gathering will make six potions a season and gather or gather thirty herbs. Okay. Do they level up pretty decently fast, or are they slow? Slow, slow pandas. Alright, we got 40 manure. We're gonna go craft this real quick. Almost no XP for it. Oh gosh, that's not good. Twenty... Point four for firewood, Lancelot? Oh, also hi if I didn't say hi before. <laughs> I, th I think I did, but I uh, sometimes I just don't know. There we go. Uh, we're going to take the leather and make more, yes, you guessed it, bags. We need so, so many bags. Uh, one oh, Let's see. Well, I don't remember what it was, to be honest with you. Management. 102 point. See, you're really awesome. I'm, I'm horrible <laughs> at remembering numbers and you like glance at at one time and already know it. You're awesome, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we need um 20. We need 21 wood per season. Although it is winter time, and winter time takes uh double your firewood consumption. 
it's either one and a half times or two times your firewood consumption, whereas summer only uses half of your wood consumption. So it does fluctuate a little bit. Spring and fall are your best time to get your true meter of how much firewood you need. All right, so we got 20 in there. We got some more bags in here. Excellent. We have even more leather. I'll take some more leather bags. Thank you. And also depends on the temp. Yes. So I said, if you want to get your houses really nice and topped off with the planks and the stone, and then when you're able to get the uh, get the limestone in, and then you'll be really, really set. They don't use near as much. Through the day and through the night, yep. They don't consume anything after 6 p.m. or before uh, 8 a.m. So just a heads up. That was a way to balance everything out uh, and make sure you had the right stuff in there. Dump 53 firewood in each house. I don't think dropping logs and resources. Yeah. I probably need to check our collector places and see how much stuff we have. How close are we to the next um, resource storage? Oh, we're halfway there. Not horrible, but not great either. Oh, we, we got it. Diplomacy skills. Yes. Uh, so you used to be able to talk to your wife to fix this. Now it is not a thing. Like you have to make a potion to reset your skills. Uh, so I'm thinking if we drop two in barter, it'll save us a lot of money later. But, or save us a lot of money now. Because I like putting everything in knowledge, that way we gain it faster. But I think barter is going to help us better, because I need, I need better prices, because we're about to have to buy a lot of manure. And we're about to sell a bunch of stuff too, so. Uh, the other thing you need is empathy, so you can see what NPC personalities are during conversation. And it makes it easier to farm diplomacy. Oh god. Choices. We will learn that. Uh, okay. It's fine. Not really. You can tell by their answers. That's true. It's just easier. That way you actually don't have to pay attention. <laughs> it used to be you could look at their skills on top of their head. Like the skill bar and see what they had the most points in and then you could see what personality they had based on their skills um, I don't know if that actually still works anymore because the skill the ones that they used to be don't exist no mo anymore don't exist no more <laughs> we're gonna go ham on stone knives because I need I need stuff also we need a lot of fertilizer All right, they still do go, do go based off that? Okay, that's good to know. I was like, back in my day, they used to have the things. Yay, more sticks. Sticks like that means I threw them on the ground at one, one point or another. Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing that. I just... I haven't. Because we've been doing other stuff. <laughs> Diplomacy is a really important skill in this game. Just because, like I said, just for the like barter alone. Being able to make 30% more or spend 30% less on things is as a huge boon like especially for something as simple as like how many seeds we're gonna have to sell it's gonna be it's gonna be really nice all right inventory we're gonna go over here we're gonna look in here 
Only logs, okay. Logs on the ground. Six back here. I'm going to take about 10 of those. Some more rot, clay, clay vials, copper, feathers. Firewood, sticks and stones, and I make a lot of knives. Yeah, because once you get a wife, you can't flirt with any of the, the people. And chatting with them doesn't raise diplomacy anymore, which is really weird because I figured small talk would at least raise diplomacy. So diplomacy is now based on you buying and selling things, with the exception of animals. Yeah, like I said, I'm supposed to go over and talk to the females every single morning, but I just don't, because I'm... I don't do it. I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. But normally we were married by spring, uh, by fall of year one, sometimes winter, and sometimes spring of year two was like the latest we would be married. But we're almost in, in spring of year three, and we haven't even really chatted with anybody. I don't think we have like above 20 romance with anybody. Uh, no, there's no jealousy stuff going on. Horrendous, there's no drama, drama stuff. Some of it's really great and really punny, and it just cracks me up. And then uh, some of it's a little bit, like, I'm off-putting for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, stop and flirt with every homeless female in the campsites you fought past. Yes. You probably, you absolutely should to raise your diplomacy. I think we might actually have all that stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check our food storage. We might even have beetroots too. Do, 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 do. Ah. Just crafting stone knives throughout the night. <laughs> like I said, if we can get the the flax filled up, we'll be just fine for money from here forward. We just got to get the flax filled up and running. Up and functional. I would like at least two full flax fields, if not three. And then a small cabbage field, which should more than enough accommodate our needs. Last time I went a little above and beyond. Uh just basic needs for that stuff. But having your crafter make uh, linen thread levels them up so dang fast, it's so nice. And then you can move them into a slow paced job after they're 10 so they can produce more. Because with 50 something people, I had two tier 10 crafters in the tavern. Cooking pottage was just enough to be able to uh, fix it. Cook is almost as fast now. Like cooking the meat, dwarf. One of these days we'll be done crafting. Alright, so cooking roasted meat is only slightly slower than crafting linen. Nice. Well, we have tons of meat always incoming. Which means it would be more cost effective to have crafting. 
And there's nothing wrong with your people just eating the cooked meat. It's not a big deal. All right. And we raised our crafting. Good job. We did it. Builder. Doom, 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 doom. The more you craft, the faster you unlock stuff. Lies, lies, and slander. No chicken. <laughs> uh, easy. That hasn't been proven yet. Where better food equals better mood. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we disproved that that was actually in the in the thing. We science everything. Yeah, because we we tried with uh, pottage, we tried with meat gravy, we tried with just roasted meat, we tried with just raw cabbage, and their mood did not fluctuate. Now, mind you, that was four patches ago for me. Ah, uh, hold on, what time is it? If it's stupid early, they're not gonna... No, it's four in the morning, Tia. They're not gonna buy your knives at four in the morning. Oh, you double check with the release as well? Okay, good to know. Better nutrition increases my villagers' mood. You need science again. Okay. Because you put the foods in the houses, right? Hey, I'm happy to have pottage, you know, with these guys. And 30s isn't a bad... A bad food thing. Multigrain food bread to eat. Bad some of us are not at the end game, okay? Multigrain bread. I haven't unlocked bread yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like some of us. All right, so we need twenty carrots, twenty cabbage. No, come on, Tia. Give me my cabbage. F. Do, 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 do. 20 cabbage. 20 ongons. No, stop it. Five. Ten. Seven. Nine. I don't know what they are. That's fine. And then beetroots were the last one, but I don't think we have those. Pretty sure we don't. <laughs> Only on year 12, you restarted the 1.0 chat patch. Dang, dang bad. Well, good job. That's actually a really good job. And thanks for bringing that to our attention. Because, yeah, I haven't made it to bread in any of my playthroughs. No, that's a lie. I did make it to bread last playthrough because we made it to year 10. Cabbage helps you survive the first two years. Yep. I concur. We used to do meat with gravy because you have to cook the meat. And then you have to cook the meat with gravy, which gave us double crafting XP to finish a thing. We're going to go over here and talk to the tavern lady. Hopefully she's in here. Oh, she's still in the house. Probably one newer year. Yeah, we'll definitely science that again. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. See, easy. I got lucky and found seeds in a barrel and a few fruit trees. Nice. 
Yeah, I haven't got to do any alcohol at all. Um, but I've been actually pretty excited to try it, and it's just I haven't made it that far. I haven't even made it, haven't even made it to fruit juice yet. Here's the uh, the builder's hut. Should be nice. Do do do. Jaker, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Don't cry. All right. Looks like our uh, is he up yet? Everybody's still sleeping. If you see that guy, it usually means everybody's still sleeping. Guys, get up. We have stuff to do today. What's well, a home on the job? I know. I was like, I feel bad for him. But I'm like, nope. We're keeping everybody separate this time. Plus, his skills weren't, like, amazing. I'm being picky this time around. Looks like people are getting up. All right, just oh, we only have nine beetroots. All right, well, never mind then. Would you like to buy some antique knives? Well, thank you. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Thirty-two happiness is the base for an employed unmarried NPC with the skill of three that lives in a stone house with a plank roof. Yes. Yes, it does mod it. Like I have it on pretty strict. That way, um, people can't slip by certain things. Cause I I, I keep the stream as PG as I can. Well, what did he just say? Hold on. Hey, old friend. Hi, buddy. So we're gonna buy manure instead of fertilizer because it's slightly cheaper, and then we're gonna buy all the fertilizer we can carry. We probably can't carry this much, but that's okay. Farewell. Ugh, it's so heavy, and we're broke again. Excuse me, lady. It goes up two if you limestone the whole house. Yeah, extra XP for making the fertilizer. Yep. Yeah, it saves us a, a one coin per fertilizer, too. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot when you don't have much. Do, do, do. Summer, t uh, springtime, I really do have to, like, strip about two, I would like to do about 2,000 berry bushes for, um, for berries. Just so we have 200 fertilizer. But, so we need 2,600 to make 260 for a full field. So 2,600. Ah, come here, pen. Stop stabbing me. 260 berries. If not more. But we have pigs still doing their pig thing. And the more the lady levels up, the more they will produce. And we could also buy another pig eventually. Thirty-two mood stone house insulated. Very nice. Yes, yes, you can. Huh. Once your farm lady is your animal caretaker slash farmer is level ten, you have to like sell some pigs because you have so much manure flooding in. It's a poo storm. So she's even worse because she's only a level two. Uh. Usually we, we don't have a level 2, but she had 3s in other spots, and I needed a farmer. So as soon as I can switch her out with another person that's a farmer, I will be doing it. 
One poo per pig per skill level of the worker. She's level two and we're getting 40 manure out of two pigs right now per day. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to throw that in there for right now. I'll grab some bags. Uh, M for management. Go to management here. Buildings. And you can see the taxes right here. You can also go to your fields and see your taxes on your fields. But yeah, so it's management tab and then building. And you should be able to see everything. Brutalist, thank you. Triangles have three sides and best happy triangle sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I wish I wish you could mouse over taxes and you could get like a brief briefing or something like that. Actually I don't. I'd probably be sad if we could do that. But if you have all these open just open up, open all the things. You can see all your taxes. 11 for the hunting lodge, 23 for a barn, 23 for sewing hut and smithy, 23 for resource storage, 8 for houses, woodshed and wells, 8. You pay 25 per house right now? Dang. All right, let's go ahead and throw all these back in here. Another thing we can do for fertilizer, which I'm uncomfortable doing, we could technically take all this out, all these things that rot, and throw them on the ground and have them go ahead and finish rotting. I bet you get these worker people are eating cheese because it's the highest nutritional food we have right now. Get your hands off the cheese. It's mine. But yeah, hold on one second. And I'm back. Yeah, we might drop some stuff on the ground just so it could rot. So it's really close, actually. We also need to craft some more pot. There's so many things we need to do, guys. So many things. All right, let's get this fertilizer on the ground. That's the most important thing to get done today. There's one less thing we have to do tomorrow. Do, do, do. Your taxes last spring were over 4K and you built stuff this year, right? 64k at the end of year 4. Nice. We might have to murder some more pigs to uh, have some more hide. We could technically also go hunt that bear, but I don't know. Also, I don't want to plant beetroots because I don't like beetroots. I don't have any use for them. Or I could make a bag in the sewing hut. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's right. Silly. Management. Building. Hunting lodge. We're going to take the fur away. Drop this down to 30. And then crank out leather. Okay. 
sewing hut since I have a worker there. Simple bags. It sucks because she can't make very many bags. Right, but bed veggie soup's a long ways away from now. Otherwise, I would, I'd already be doing it. So she'll make four bags a day. Until we can get her spinning uh, this. So we have her until summertime working on bags. Yeah, I think we're going to do a massive item drop on the ground for rot. Just so we can finish these fields out. Because it's kind of like really, really important that we get this field done. This should have been done spring of year two. But I was, I don't remember, I don't even remember what we were doing. We are doing something else. Don't two vendors sell beetroots in town? Uh, Horrendous, I believe you are correct. And I, honestly, that's probably the route we're going to go. Is just have the beetroots. Purchase them. So I was checking the tavern lady to see how many she had. She had nine. I don't know how many the field guy had. Farmers are barn workers now? Oh. Razio. Howdy, howdy. Welcome back. Just kind of doing a thing. Toast, thank you for the subscribe. I'm pretty sure I said thank you earlier, but I always like to double check. Sometimes I feel like Dora that forgets something that happened five minutes ago. Totally fine. Probably because everyone complained about them having to chase them down in the fields. Maybe. That's actually pretty good news that they're barn workers now. That that means... Because no, I was actually trying to find them when they're up in that upper corner field. Because I couldn't find them. Ah, come down, Tia. Quite a bit of stuff. Uh, feeling pretty good today, Dwarf. I, uh, I'm not tired or anything. Just feel kind of here. <laughs> oh, uh, not to overshare, but I started new medicine today and it kicked in and I actually don't feel like I'm going to have to curl up for a nap five seconds after we're done. <laughs> She's like, can I have a second season, please, since you're feeling good? You know what? I'm okay with that. That way I don't have to stress for all week if we get enough uh, fields down. Here we go, a little sideways. Yes, yeah, so the most important thing is getting our, our flax field situated because that's going to be our main income uh, for years to come. That's usually why I have like 5 billion fields all over the place. Uh, by the end of year two, I usually have enough workers to do this themselves, and I usually don't have to touch the fields. But somehow we got really far behind. I just don't know how. I think because I just was trying to fall. Oh, because there's so many new storylines when we first start, not just a couple. That's why I was trying to. I was trying really hard to figure out how we got so far behind. It's because there's so many storylines now, and we're actually doing quests instead of. Usually I just knock out Unighost and Alwyn's quest the first day and then I'm done. Uh, but we actually had to chase down some missing grain and some other adventures. Definitely not complaining, it's just threw off my schedule a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can put off your story quest until you got your settlement established. Well, I don't blame you. Like I said, if you do nothing but do the chapter quests, your village will expand just fine. I think the reason we have diplomacy so high is because we've been doing the quests, though. And we've been having to talk to people. Yeah, yeah, fur boots is how I used to do it before I started uh, flax fields. Although, if you all you did was put up like a few hunters, like two or three hunters, you could probably have close to the same stuff. Yeah, so, um, hold on a second. I don't disagree with that method, by the way, Lancelot. That's how I actually used to do it. Like, five or six patches ago. Uh, but let's see, for the hat, I don't have an extra one on me. Uh, but they sell really good. Quiffs are better because you can get a ridiculous amount. Plus, the flax seeds themselves sell for some some crazy stuff. Uh, wood vials are new, actually, horrendous. So I don't know uh, the ratio of profit from them. Yep, quiffs for shoes and flax seeds. Yes, that's the, our early game. Yeah, flax ends up being our late game. All right, uh, so we're out of fertilizer. So what we're gonna do now? Do 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 do. We're gonna grab this fertilizer that we didn't realize was in here. And we're also going to go check manure at the regular place. Uh, management people. Animal breeder. So she is only like a quarter into this. Oh, that's actually pretty dang decent, Lancelot. Slow to make. All right, what's well, so stones good here? Do 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 do. Manure. Oh, we have more money. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go spend money. You can put a worker on it and make like 500 a season, but it's heavy. Okay. For the vials, for the wooden vials, I think that's really cool that it's a it's a way though. That's that's not bad at all. I'm just gonna chug down some more coffee over here. Do, 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 do. Look at our beautiful field over here. I don't know. If I had to go get herbs to make things, I don't think I would. I think I make potions for my own personal use, but I probably wouldn't sell them because extra resources spent gathering the other things. Nice and slow day. Oops, let's stay on this line. We only have six more fertilizer to go. Just a little bit more. A 
and then we'll go talk. Let's go talk to Inga now. So I think we already got all the fertilizer we could afford over at this guy. So we'll go over to Inga and get some manure and fertilizer as well. A little bit of drinks. There we go. Might as well take a bath on our way to go see Inga. Do, 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 do. Eh, you know. We got another hour and a half on that little tiny piece of food right there. <laughs> uh, we don't really. That's about, uh, that's about 15 minutes, I would say. Give or take, as long as we don't sprint. Which, of course, we always sprint, so it's kind of moot, per moot, moot the point. So, we'll make a tank load of pottage, and then, uh, yeah, we have so much stuff to do. There's a potion that just takes hops to make, and it... Oh, that one wouldn't be bad in bulk. Hops are nice, because you can just plant them and be done. Fruit trees are the same, where you can just plant them and be done. Alright, chickens. Inga! Hi! How are you doing? Alright, I would like to buy all your manure. Thank you, ma'am. Have a lovely day! See you soon. Bye, Inga! <sighs> there's our village over here. <laughs> I hate how there's a slight fog in the distance. It drives me a little bit crazy, but that's okay. I know it's to ease the graphics, uh, graphic strain. You need to redo your spreadsheet. There's so many things that... There's a lot of things that's changed. Like little subtle things. Some good. Some like, ah, uh, why? But, yeah, I'm so excited that they did those entry things. The, the options for customizing the game. That's so exciting because that opens the game up for a lot of people that want it more hardcore. Or, or want it a little easier. Or think it's not balanced right, they can just balance it themselves. Stuff on the ground there. Beer and trouser. What? Wait, what? Did I miss a thing? I missed some rocks. Is it in that little cart right there? Something's right there. Maybe? What is this? Trees? On the beach. Am I? Oh, oh, here it is. Yep, trousers and some beer. Somebody went swimming. Good job. I didn't even see it. So many things that I need on the ground. Like I said, a winter is probably a good time to do the treasure hunting too, because you can see things from a further distance. And some people have suggested the treasure hunting method as a starting thing. Like you can get 9,000 monies the first day just by treasure hunting, but you have to like re-roll several times and check certain spots. Didn't they allow you to build bridges? Nope. Nope. No bridges ever. Now, um... Oh, no more 9k, they nerfed it? Oh, good to know. I, I don't do the treasure hunting method myself, but other people I know did prefer it. 
Also, I'm starving. Starving, Marvin. You're like, Tia, I told you to eat like five minutes ago. I was like, I know. All right, let's get this manure out here. Let's food, and then we'll finish the field, hopefully. We'll be pretty close to finishing the field. Stop your belly aching. Literally. Uh, we're only going to do three pottages. Food. Inventory. There we go. Meat. Beer. Uh, we'll actually go sell the beer. We'll sell those things. Wheat beer and beer will definitely be sold. Do we, need, we need to craft all kinds of stuff. I know, wheat beer? Heck yeah. I saw that, I'm like, ooh. Uh, if you've been enjoying the content community and like to support the channel, please consider following, subscribing, thumbs up, high five, low five, all the stuff and things here on Twitch, over on YouTube, and on Twitter. Your support is much appreciated. Now, Twitter, I'm not on because I'm not like a... You guys don't need to know what the heck I had for breakfast, like a weirdo. Uh, but I do post over there if I am unable to stream and some other stuff like that. Um, or like games that I'm interested in, I'll sometimes ping them. But that's about it. There's not a whole lot of activity going over on Twitter for me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go murder Wait, we don't have to murder pigs Because we have leather coming in Uh, this one Twenty-three, that's not very much it is something, but it's not much. So we'll go get our hose in a second and finish plowing the fields to make sure everything's fertilized and as, as good as we can get it for right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I thought was hilarious? I was like thinking, I was like, if we have the pigs close enough to the fields, why can't the fields automatically get fertilized? Right? How easy would that be? That's much better. They wouldn't fertilize it evenly? I know, I know. But that'd be hilarious. I'd be like, yeah, good job, pigs. Alright, so we're going to throw this back in here. Our other, let's grab the fur and the leather out of here. They don't belong. Neither do the feathers. Feathers, come on. Now we are going to do another thing over here. Uh, building, farming. This is fields where we plant things, but we need orchards instead of fields on this one. Okay, this is as close. Alright, that is too close. Do, 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 do. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error, so bear with me. Yeah, because you're a crybaby. So eight's as far as it can go. This is seven by seven, as big as an orchard can go. 
Boop. Oh god, I thought we crashed the game there for a second. Yeah, Dwarf's smart. She's smarter than me. She's like, I'm not rushing. I'm like, and how much stuff do we do? It's, it's more stressful if you try to rush it. So you can put as much or as little pressure on yourself as you want to. Alright, Tia. Okay, there we go. Dooby dooby doo doo. Alright, so we're going to go pick the farming implements up. What a cute big bit, right? The ground level does not matter. Oh, so we got two empty buckets here. So we're going to grab those and refill them. We have some bags now. Hi, bags. We have a little bit more manure. Excellent. Now we're here for some wooden tools. I forgot what we were getting. There we go. All right. Let's get the rest of the manure down, apparently, because they blessed us with some more manure, and I'll take it. I kind of rushed the main quest line, but only wants me to like kill the large game. Yeah, I usually am happy about end of year two when I have everything situated. Right now, we don't have things situated. Everything is out of hand. Uh, let's see. So, five. Also, let's go fill those buckets up real quick. So I want to make sure we have plenty of water for our dudes and dudettes. I think we only got dudettes right now. Uh, buckets, fill two. Thank you. Yeah, getting the people trained up will help for productivity. So that's not only with manure. So say the farming person gets more farming XP, which means we get man more manure. That is also with most everything else in this game. Just so you know. The better they are at the job, the better they can get stuff done. Alright, we're going to plant cherries on this side. Actually, I lied. I want cherries right by the road. Do cherries this way instead. All right, bag, 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 bag. Cherries. These were free seeds from the river. These are river seeds. There we go. Bag fertilizer. <laughs> the children of the village will be in an advantage of their parents. Hopefully. So as like they were saying how the reason the mothers took two years to go back in is because you're supposed to have more productive workers, like better workers from it because it combines the skills. But the fact that as soon as you move a male and a female together, they start trying to get married and have a kid. Although it does take a couple of seasons. I was like, people don't have time to skill up by then. Alright. Uh, Pixie, that's what we're going to do, but only because cause we want to do diplomacy as well. I mean, eventually one of these years when I get around to it. Uh, so we are doing an Amazon village to start with. But you can just make separate houses for everybody and have males and females. You just can't have them 
in the same building unless you want them to get married and have kids. And then the mother's out of work for two years, which means she can't skill up, she can't do anything. Dwarf's like, you guys can't get married until both of you are skill level this. <laughs> I'm just keeping them in separate houses. Um, works when they're leveling skills. Think of them as marrying just a after high school versus waiting until they graduate from college. Yeah, I guess that's a fair thing. Uh, nope, they don't lose mood or anything when you separate them. If they're not married yet, there's no mood boost. Getting married and having a kid does boost mood, though. I used to rotate mine out and in from different houses, and then I would forget and then put the two back together, and they would pick up from where they left off, so they got married faster than I was expecting. But playing musical houses is, is very, very, very tedious. <laughs> so it's just easier to keep them in separate houses. But they remember how much they like each other. So if you mess up musical houses, they marry. Yep, exactly. I tell you, I was like, I, I only had one extra house, and I moved a male and a female in together. And this is after I'd been wooing the female for a while. And I was pretty excited because it was the first time I was ever going to get married. And I was at like 98% of, hap of, of uh, romance with her. And then she married the guy she was living with the same day I was about to go, uh, go propose for, to her. So, after that, I always kept the person I was going to marry in a separate house. It was a nice, huge blow to the ego. Uh, how dare you? I own the entire village. And you're going to bury the woodcutter? That's fine. That's fine, guys. <laughs> and that's when I started wooing Inga. And after that, I never looked back. And then they patched her out as an NPC who can't be married, which made me sad. Oh, man. We got this, guys. Come on, buddy. You got this. This is a productive winter because we almost have a full field of fertilizer. Full field of fertilizer? Uh, rolling into springtime. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Make it, buddy. <laughs> yep, dwarf. I think it was spring of year two. I went to ask her to marry me, and she married. Had married the guy she loved with. It was a sad panda. Come on, buddy. You got this. Just hang in there. We just gotta... Get a few more things done. No rest for the wicked. I think we worked through both nights. I don't think we've been asleep this season. Yeah, because we have two hours and 30 minutes going right now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The cool thing about planting is you can just hold down the mouse button instead of clicking every single time. You can do the same thing with running this, but it doesn't give it a pause in order to recoup anything. So we'll do it the slow way right quick so we can have some more stam. 
But yeah, when you're planting or fertilizing a field, you can just hold down the mouse button and walk. Just make sure you're clicking on the right area, or mousing over the right area, sorry. All right, not bad, not bad at all. So M, management, fields, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So we need thirty-seven more fertilizer, which is one day of pig poop. Wait, no, that's two days of pig poop. Anyway, so we're pretty close. All right, we got our tree seeds planted. Got quite a few things done already. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Uh, let's go ahead and put our bags and everything up. We'll need this again tomorrow. But I kind of just want to make sure we have everything in its proper places today. F for torch. Nope, that doesn't go in there. Okay. Grab the money out of there, because the money don't go in there. No go there, money. <laughs> you do not want to craft the very, very last night of a season because your food will be in your inventory when the season rolls over and it will automatically be at 50% which is bad all kinds of bad oh yeah we were gonna do fertilizer so another thing you can do for fertilizer because we're not ever gonna use these apples I'm sorry it's just never gonna happen let's be realistic here uh, I'm gonna take this cabbage see here what's our weight a weight is not very much now on gones roasted meat rot all right I'm gonna take all these out here real quick dang it you took my knife didn't you you did ah Yeah, we're not cooking. Um, but yeah, if if we were cooking, we don't ever do it at the end of this. No, don't eat it. You're going to get poisoned. Oh my gosh. My people are so unruly. He's just He just does whatever he wants. X, E, F. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're just going to drop everything down on the ground, an explosion of things. And then we're going to go in here and grab more meat. Uh, because sometimes I drop it and it rolls underneath the thing and you can't get to it. So I'm going to drop it all right out here and I'll pick it up in the morning. Because it rolls right underneath it. Like if it was a few couple piles of meat, but you saw how far the spread was on when I dropped that. All right, so grab as much of this stuff as we can. Okay. Like I said, we will come here first thing springtime and pick all this up because it will turn from uh, regular... Ah, uh, why did you eat that? This is why I can't trust you to do anything. Alright. So explosion of stuff, we'll pick it up. We're slightly poisoned, but it's not too bad. Alright, so that will be the end of winter. We are going to do spring, so stick around. But for my YouTubers... Thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time.